How's it going, everybody? Hello, hello. Hello. Welcome to Friday. You're outside. Yeah, I'm outside. I am um, doing most of the workouts on the porch to give uh, a little space in the house. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and a little space for the TRX too. Um, so it's it's been good. It's actually, it's a little bit covered. So even when it's been raining, it's not, it's not too bad. Um, nice. So yeah, we're going to do TRX and dumbbells. I'll give it a few minutes. How many people actually have a TRX? I know, Brooke, I can see one. Okay, Laura's got one. Nice. Three. Okay. Awesome. So like about half. Okay, great. Just what I was wondering about, um, you know, it's nice to know because then you can decide how much of the workout kind of can be geared uh, either way. So obviously I'm going to have both two. You need dumbbells if you don't have a TRX. And I would have a set of dumbbells um, even if you do have a TRX just because uh, that's a good idea. They'll probably come in handy. Morning, Brooke. Um, so yeah, if you have a TRX, great. If you have dumbbells, great. Um, this is a TRX um, and optional dumbbell workout. So either is fantastic. Okay, so I'll just get my shoes on. It's eight o'clock. So have a little bit. Can you just, sorry to interrupt. Can you just order, where do you order a TRX band from? So you can order from trxtraining.com. Um, they're in San Francisco. Um, but you can also just order it Amazon, Fitness Town, you know, any like any fitness provider. You know what's good too and near you is um, 360 Fitness. I'll send you, they're in Mississauga. I'll Perfect. send you the uh, link. Um, they shouldn't be more than 200, you know what I mean? But that home version comes with a door anchor, which means that you can attach to a door. Um, a strap, which I have the strap on mine, and then the TRX. So there are professional versions and home versions. Um, get the home version because the, the door anchor is definitely worth it. But what, all is yours, what is yours attached to right there, right now? It's attached to like a, a cross beam. Um, oh, those are beams up there. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it's like a, a, a beam. But I have the door anchor, but since I moved from my life, I cannot find it. Um, but yeah. it, it's around somewhere. Um, but you know, you can take, it has a clip attached to that yellow business. You can just clip it right onto a chain link, um, anything like that around yeah, like 30 at the playground, you know, when those are open again, you know, like a bar, a cross bar. Yeah. So they're definitely worth it. Like I've had this one since like the belly boot camp days, like, you know, 2012, 13. And obviously when you're going to studios and stuff more, you're not using it as much, but, um, right. it's a good tool to have for stretch and, and for yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's good. It is a couple hundred bucks, but okay. So let's get warmed up. Um, so we you can put tunes on. Um, if you can mute yourself, that's great. Then if you're chatting away, then that's fine. Um, <laughs> Say hi, Celia. Hi, Celia. Oh, hi, Pearly. How are you? Good morning. I guess it's a little bit later there, hey? Say hi, How are you doing? You. Miss you. Aw, thank you. Miss you, too. You're looking so big. I can't believe it. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Pearly. Okay. All right. So, we started the class today, but I did one the other day or whenever that was last two weeks ago. And we're just gonna do the, like a bit of an arm sweep. So just stand, make sure you can see me. Um, so let's see, okay. So make sure you guys can see me. So just stand with your standing tall, feet hip width. Shoulders down and back. Just roll your shoulders. Just get a little stretch in here. Okay, roll the shoulder if you wanna like. Get crazy with the hands, go for it. Just try and loosen up in this cool area, right? Move your head side to side, not too violently, but you can move your head side to side. All right, just kind of getting going, head side to side, breathing for three, for two, for one, bring your hands down to your side, start a squat. All right, so really thinking about the inhale, the exhalation, the inhale, pulling the abdominal wall in, 
pressing through the heels, right? That nice tall spine. That real glute squeeze, right? The heavy breath. Even if it's over exaggerated at times, it does help you to remember to breathe. Okay, uh, that pelvic floor. So as you come low, you start to squeeze that pelvic floor, chase the breath out. So come down nice and low, hold it. Move your head side to side. Feel your weight into your heels. Pull your abdominal wall in. Now inhale, stay low, inhale. Exhale, okay? Inhale one more time. And on the exhalation, we're gonna stand up. So I want you to think about a zipper being pulled up, 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 chasing the breath out, back down. So as we go on through the squats now, exhalation breath is initiated right from the abdominal wall, very bottom, pelvic floor, up, out. It's almost like if you don't squeeze that, your breath is not being chased out. Get every interior deep core muscle all the way down, not just like the surface core muscle, working for you on the breath. On the next one, come down nice and low. Okay, you're in a squat position. It's like a little forward fold like yoga style. You're gonna take your hands down, put your bum up to the sky. Drop the crown of the head. Okay, now go back to that squat position. So lift your chest, hands come to your heart, or come to your chest, you're squatting. You're going from a squat to fold. And then a squat to fold. You can do either, you know, whatever pace you want. If you want a little bit more like cardio tastic, you can get going a little bit faster. If you feel that nice stretch in the hamstring, you can go slower. All right, give me a squat in three, two, one. Now hands are together down towards the ground. Exhale, stand up, lift your arms up to the sky, and then pull down with intensity through the back. Drop the hands down, squat down, hands towards the ground. You're in a squat, hands are reaching down. Exhale, stand up, reach the hands to the sky, and then pull down like you're pulling on that lap machine. Like Ooh, really get going. You know what you're doing? Keep going. Hands down. You're in squat. Exhale. Hands up. Pull down. Get that chest opening. Opening up through the lats. All right. Pull it down. Meet me in squat in three, two, one. Come to squat. Move your head side to side. Pull the abdominal wall in. Squeeze the glutes. Heels are down. Posterior chain. Hamstrings. All right. Calf and glute. Take the arms out in front. Take your head slightly down towards the ground. Don't feel any tension in the head, neck, and shoulders. You're just going to sweep. Opposite way. Okay. There's no real, like, real right or wrong. Just trying again. Shoulder mobility, flexibility. Opening up through that chest. Hopefully your legs are feeling it a little bit as you're sitting low in that squat for eight, seven, six. We're going to dive down, butt to the sky in that forward fold in three, two, one. Back to that forward fold to squat. One more time. Forward fold to squat. Get that lengthening and shortening. You can keep your gaze looking forward. I'm just looking at you. Let you know what's going on. All right, for five, for four, for three, two, standing up and one, squat and kick. Squat down, squat down, alternating legs. You know, I want that kick, like you're a little bit pissed, right? Like you're like really driving with the heel to make contact with that target. You have to balance on that supporting leg. Get that exhalation breath. And of course, the faster you go, the lower you go, a little more intense it gets, right? That squat and kick, you're a little bit pissed. You want to really watch the flicking of the foot. It's more of a lift, snap back down, right? Just watch the like raising up, back, right? Eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, one. Butt kicks, okay? Butt kicks here. Find my timer. Try to kick my butt, heels to my butt. So what is this doing besides giving you a little cardio? Is it's giving a nice stretch through the quadricep, okay? Where most people are tight. We're gonna go to jumping jacks in three, two, one. Okay, high impact, low impact, right? High impact, heels are down. You're not living on the balls of your feet. Try and get your hands to touch. Work on your shoulder mobility, upper chest, thoracic mobility, especially during a lot of home time, right? Hopefully we're gonna get out more, but five. We're going to high knees. Three, two, one. High knees. You can put your hands up. You know the low impact option, more like a stick break. Right? All right. Back to butt kicks. In three, legs of the sweat. Two, layers of sweat here. Two, and one, butt kicks. So try and get a little bit more into it. Like, really try and kick those heels. See if you can feel that elongating through the quadricep. Back to high knees. Three, two, one. 20 seconds, okay? Get those arms going this time. And we're gonna go back to jacks. We can change the order there. It doesn't matter. All the same. Jacks, three, two, one. Okay. Really open up the chest, arms, heels down, right? Breathing, breathing. One more time around. We're gonna go back to back kicks. In five, four, three, two, one, back kicks. Get your arms going, lengthening, stretching. All right, back to high knee, last time. Three, two, one, third time through. So you can bring your hands up, even with a high impact or low impact. Five seconds. Back to jacks. Last side. Three, two, one. Squeeze that pelvic floor. Get that core engaged. All right. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. So we're gonna do a 90-90 stretch with the TRX. So. If you have a TRX, take it to the big cap. Um, if you don't have a TRX, just sit down on the ground. Everybody is going to put their legs up in front. If you have a TRX, take your arms long, okay? Put your hands onto the heart handle. Everybody, TRX or not, is gonna take their legs to the right side, meaning you let your knees fall to the right, they come to the ground. You have a TRX, you can reach back and over, look back to the wall behind you, right? So this is really push your hands against the hard handle. If you don't have a TRX, you can just let your knees come over, feel the stretch, or you can cross over and do like that little bit of a twisting motion as well, okay? Three, two, one back to center, knees forward, arms long, roll the shoulders down and back. Knees fall the other side. Reach, push against the hard handle. Okay, if you don't feel the stretch, you can move your butt away a little bit more. Lean into it. Three, two, one. One more time, other side. Open up the hip, getting that movement into the hip area. Hold the shoulders down, not using the TRX. Do the same motion before you can get that one leg over and turn four, three, two, one, other side. All right, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, back up. TRXers, low back stretch. So you're just gonna take the TRX and you are just gonna hang off it. Those who don't have a TRX, you know, use a chair a countertop, 
a railing, something that has a little bit, it's not gonna just pull over on you to not like a stool. Really try and let go the house, whatever you've got. Now, take your hand, take your body if you can and rotate your chest a little bit to one side. So with the TRX, you bring your left hand down, right hand up and kind of open up. Feel if you can get a little bit more stretch on the one side and the other. You're on that firm surface to see if you can kind of get a little bit of movement to open up the chest. For five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, we're gonna get right into it with the core. So you need a mat, all right? And you need your straps at mid calf if you're using the TRX, okay? So think that, maybe I'll bring you over here and see if that's better. Uh, okay, so mid calf, we're going to do a planking series, right? So I wanted to talk a little bit about the planking series in the TRX. Um, a lot of us from sweat especially have done it like a million times and sometimes it can kind of lose its intensity, especially if you're trying to add on a ton of extra stuff. So before we get like super into it, I want to just ask you like stand up for one second. I want you to take your hands to your sides. I want you to roll your shoulders down and back. When I count down from three to zero, I want you to squeeze your body like there's a million flying punches at it. Everything is tense. Three, two, and one. So my core is rock solid. My glutes are rock solid. I am thinking 10 out of 10 contraction. Three, two, one. Okay. This time, bring your hands up in front of you like you're in a forearm plank. Okay. Not together, but apart. Shoulders down and back. Same squeeze. One more time. Three, two, one. Everything. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Like you can think about nothing else. Three, two, one. Okay. Come down to your TRX or come down to a plank position. Putting your feet into the TRX if you're using it, okay? Or just come down to your mat using, uh, just coming to a plank, okay? So, we're gonna do a side plank left to start. Um, so it's gonna be 15 seconds rest and then 15 seconds. Why? Because I want you to have that huge, huge, huge squeeze. Like no just going up and then like lollygagging there and just hanging out. You are trying to squeeze every single muscle, okay? Side plank left, left forearm is down, in or out of the TRX. My feet are in, doesn't matter if it's yours or not. Three, two, push with the right hand up, okay? Squeeze everything, inner thigh line and scissors, glutes are squeezed. Reach that right hand to the sky. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Squeeze like a million dollar bill between your legs, between your butt. Everyone's kind of coming like tight to your stomach. You want four, three, two, one. Five seconds rest. We're going again, okay? Your feet are touching the door anchor or the door. Move away. Three, two, one. Back up. Same side. 15 seconds. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Inner thigh line. Scissoring. Glutes. Squeeze. Reach your hand up. Hold and squeeze. Harder. Squeeze a little bit more. Four, three, two, one. Come down. Face the ground. Okay? Body soft. Or and I tell you, those without a TRX, you can still do body saw, but and to get a second option as well. Body saw is done in the low plank position. You're on your forearms. Separate your arms. They're not crossed over. It's kind of more comfortable for us, but it's a better alignment for pulling your shoulders down and back. Get her out of the TRX. Come to a low plank. Three, two, one. Low plank. Okay. Now add in a body saw for those in the TRX pushing forward and back. Those not in the TRX, I want you to try and pull your elbows to your toes, toes to your elbows, encompassing that same idea of a maximum squeeze. Everybody squeeze everything you've got for four, three, two, one, rest, five. We're doing it again, same thing, 15 seconds. All you're thinking about is that squeeze. Four, three, two, one, back up, squeeze, squeeze, right? You're getting the plank right. Everything is firing. You shouldn't be able to be up there for days and days. All right? Just keep squeezing. Keep saw backing or pulling those elbows to those toes. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay? Come down. 
plank, right side. Now I'm gonna do out of the TRX for this one, so I'm gonna keep facing you. Right side, left foot is forward, right foot is back, feet are staggered, feet are stacked, okay? You choose in the TRX, you know heel toe, right? Three, two, one, up, squeeze. Now everything is coming together, everything is squeezing. Top hip facing the sky, left arm is reaching up, pull the hip up like it's being drawn by a rope. You're just gently pulling it up. Feel the oblique, nice and tight. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Five, everything together. Four, three, two, one. Come down, five seconds rest. Four, point again, same side. Three, two, one, up, okay? Everybody up, I want this nice contraction, holding on to it. You got it. Pull that abdominal wall and squeeze those glutes, quads, scissor those legs for five, four, three, two, one, okay, come down. Low plank position, okay, if you're in the TRX, you're gonna have pulling the legs apart, all right? If you're out of the TRX, we're gonna have tap outs, okay? So, low plank position, my feet are gonna pull wide in the TRX. For those without, tap the left foot wide and then the right, okay? Low plank, three, two, one. Come up. Those in the TRX, pull your feet wide one time. Hold them there. Do not move. Squeeze your glutes. Take your toes towards your nose. Those without are going to tap, right? Tap out. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. For eight, seven. Squeeze your glutes. Five, four, three, two, one. Knees down. Five seconds rest. Just demo the uh, other TRX option. Four, three, two. Back up. So tap out. Nice and steady though, okay? Core is engaged, pelvic floor is engaged, hips are facing down. There's not a wild drive out, it's squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. For five, four, three, two, one, okay. Last one in the core sequence here, atomic push up, okay? For those out of the TRX, push up, left knee to left elbow, cross body, right knee to right elbow, looks like this. Push up for one. Bring it across, and then back down, okay? And then those in the TRX, atomic push-up, one push-up, one double knee crunch, okay? If, if you'd rather do more crunches, take it a two to one ratio, one push-up, two crunches. 30 seconds on the hands in three, in two, and one. Push up to your high plank position. Remember that 10 out of 10. You need it now. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Lower down. Press up. Double knee crunch. Back long. Lower down. Press up. Double knee crunch. Again, you can do two to one. One push up, two double knee crunches, right? Or out of, out of the TRX option. Okay? Of course, you can go to a kneeling. You can go to that kneeling push up as well, of course, right? Remember, you can keep that transition nice and tight. Keep it eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, we're gonna go to a hamstring curls, okay, on the TRX. Those who don't have a TRX, it is going to be um, single leg glute bridge. So, TRXers, I like my hamstring curls at the mid length, which is the two yellow lines, or black meets gray, depending on how hold your TRXs, um, mid-length, not mid-calf, but mid-length, right? Okay, those in the TRX are gonna pop their heels in, lying on their back, right? Those who are not, left leg is down, right leg is up, single leg glute bridge for those who are not, and then hamstring curl for those who are. All right, hamstring curl. So, legs are long, okay, starting with the hamstring curl cues. Legs are low. Now, stay close to your anchor point. If you have any, ever have any knee pain behind this movement, stay closer to your anchor point right below it or closer to the door. All right, TRXers and single leg glute bridgers left. In three, two, one. Press up, squeeze, okay? And then bring your knees in towards your chest, elongate long. Remember that glute squeeze and that contraction that I cued you 10 out of 10 contraction. You're pulling those knees in, exhale, squeeze the glute. And when your legs are long, you're in that reverse leg. Everything should be squeezed. So, you know, there's not a time really when you're working the TRX 
that you should be just like hanging out having rest. You need to really think about the breath, maybe shorten the movements, but really keep that working, right? Single leg glute bridgers, you're pressing up through the left side, exhaling, arms are long above you or down to the ground. All right. Bring your knees into your chest or press your hips up high into the glute bridge. Knees are in chest or pressing hips up high. Let's pulse. So my left foot is down in single leg glute. I'm pulsing up the right leg towards the sky. Okay, curlers, pressing, pulsing for four. It's burning three, two, one. Come down. Okay, breathe, breathe, breathe. We're gonna do two sets. So I'm gonna move on, but we'll come back to the next set for the right side. Okay, glute bridgers, so don't stress about that. All right, so we're gonna go into a bit of a high pull. So take your feet out, put your hands on to the TRX, all right? Okay, so from here, if you don't have a TRX, grab some weight, okay? Lie on your back, and you guys can go into a little bit of a bench press, so you're just gonna lie on your back and press up towards the sky, okay? If you wanna make it harder, press those hips up and keep them up, okay? Make it nice and heavy. So these are tens, try and make it nice and heavy. The bench press can take quite a bit um, of, of uh, work, okay? So bench pressers. All right, for those who are TRXers, hands are on the heart handles. I want you to move yourself back, all right? My arms are long. I have this 90 degree or angle in my leg. It's gonna stay like that. This is a high pull. So move your butt quite far back, okay? Arms are feeling the tension. It's gonna look like this, so watch me for one. As I press up, pull the elbows back. And I don't change the access point in my leg. It's just like I'm pulling myself up and then gently lowering. My elbows are high and they're flying wide. Three, two, one, pull your elbows out wide. They're by your ears. Pull them back. Feel your shoulder blades retract. Your legs are not pushing up to help you. Your butt touches. You go again. All of your weight should be sitting back into this high pull. It should be slow. It should be heavy. Okay? Breathing, breathing. Bench pressers, hips are up or down. Same thing. Should be heavy, nice heavy weights as you press the weight up over your chest, not over your face. For eight, slow down that pace, make it nice and steady. Don't use the legs in the high pull. Five, four, three, two, and one. Press yourself up to standing, goblet squat. Okay, something heavy. I'm gonna try and use a 20, okay? Take whatever you've got, stand it up tall. All right, I like this way, goblet squat, okay? If you don't have like a weight that's heavy, then go ahead and just use like, I don't know, a kid, a dog, a cat, a fat cat, whatever you've got lying around, okay? Three, two, one. Pull the knees out, core pulls in, exhale, press up. Now, in this goblet squat today, I want you to think about the depth. If you have a weight at your chest and you push it out slightly, it counterbalances you to be able to go lower. Of course, if you have knee, any injury, and you cannot go low, then no, you know, but try in this slow work here to work on the mobility and depth of the squat. I know often I just go like here and then back up. With that counterbalance, push it out slightly at the lowest range. Feel it balance as you push through the heels, exhale, press up. Okay, so take it slow. Push your knees out wide. Push that weight slightly away from you at the lowest range. Exhale, push through the heels and make it count. Remember that pelvic floor exhalation, glute squeeze, everything chasing the breath. This is when you want it. Exhale, 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 okay? For eight, seven, we're gonna meet low in six, five, four, I want you to come to your lowest range in three, two, 
One, come to your lowest range. Press up to half. Come down to your lowest. This should be hard. Up to half. Three more like that. Up to half. You are burning. Two more. Up to half. Last one. Press to half. Pulse. Eight. Seven. Six. Shoulders down. Core in. Glute squeeze. Heels down. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Hamstring curl. Or glute bridge, single leg, right. Okay? You know if you have injury, you can't do single leg glute bridge, you know to do double. Okay? Put this back down. Other side, second time around, hamstring curl. For the hamstring curlers, we're gonna add a hip press. Okay? So watch me. It comes in, hip, lower, extend. Okay? Single leg glute bridgers. Right foot down. Three, two, one. Everybody go. Okay? Bring the hip down. Press. You want to keep those hips in line, okay? Those glute bridgers, press up. You want more challenge? Hands to the sky. Exhale, press through the heel. You can point the left toes to the sky as you push up, and then you can flex the foot back, left foot back towards you as you lower. Okay? Breathing, breathing. All right, keep it going with that hip press. Hamstring curl hip press on the TRX. All right, we're gonna have that pulse in five. You're in the hip press, press your foot up. You're in the, the hamstring curl, bring your knees in. Three, two, one, knees in or press up high. Pulse, hips are coming up to the sky and down to the ground. Same with that push through, right heel down, left foot to the sky for five. Four, three, two, one. Okay, on your back, those with dumbbells, go to fly. You might need to lighten if you had a really heavy weight. Otherwise, high pull for the TRXers, okay? All right, three. So high pullers, really push the butt back. Roll the shoulders back and down, all right? Three, two, one, pull the elbows back. Nice and steady. Did not get the camera angle today. All right, so chest fly on the back. Otherwise, high pull, arms are high. Pull the elbows back. Your legs are not helping you. you touch your butt to the ground. Exhale. So you should be really thinking about trying to pull from the lats. It's not about pulling from the hands, if that makes any sense. Pull your lats down and back. Think about your lats on the next one. Pull them down and back. Don't think about the hands and the pulling. Think about the lats retracting, being the shining star. All right? Eight, seven, chest flyers open wide, arms to the side, five, four, three, two, one. Stand it up, goblet squat, okay? Something heavy-ish, a weight, whatever you used last time. If you want something heavier, find it. Four, three, two, one. Okay, knees are really tracking out wide here, right? Really want those knees tracked out wide. Try it once at the lowest rate to push those hands out a little bit in front of you and to really nail down that counterbalance that I was talking about, okay? If that is not for you, then you just stay with your regular squat, okay? Push out. Press back up. Really keep the chest tall. So watch for the weight rounding you, right? Watch for that. Chest is tall, sitting low, knees pushing out, pressing back up. All right, nice and steady. 15 seconds to go. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Yes, you guys, knees out, nice and low. Yes, push that weight out. Yes, Brooke, nice. Okay, good, you guys. Awesome. Stay with it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back to a quick minute of cardio. That same thing we did before. So butt kicks, right? Put your weights down. Butt kicks, nice and steady. All right. Just getting like the legs flushed out. We're going to move our mat. So if you have a mat right in front of your TRX, you can move it. Have a sip of water. All right. 
We'll go like the high knees in three, two, one. Bringing up those knees. Nice and steady. Your hands go in or hands up or whatever you like. Eight, seven, going to jacks. So we're doing two rounds of this. Five, four, three, two, one. Jack. 20 seconds. Breathing, breathing. Eight, seven, butt kicks and six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, butt kicks. A little bit of cardio. Get this 20 pound weight out of my way. All right. Going in to high knees in three, two, one. Really bring those knees up. Short tuck. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Jobs. All right, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Side lunge. You will need a weight. So, everybody have an eight. 10, some sort of weight. One, if you have a TRX, we're gonna do an abducted side lunge. So your straps will be at mid length at the two yellow where black meets gray, okay? You're gonna go ahead, take your right foot, put it into the straps, okay? Square up your hips, shoulders down and back. So hips are square, everything is nice and steady. You want to wait. My left leg is down. My right hand has the weight. If I don't have a TRX, my right leg is going to be on the ground, right? So abducted first. You come down, push the right leg towards the anchor point. Exhale, press back up. Sorry, left leg bends, right? Right hand comes down. Exhale, press back in, right? Push that right leg towards the anchor. Bend the left. Push. I don't have a TRX, okay? I'm gonna just take my left leg out, come down, bring it in, push. Take my left leg down, in, push. You could keep it planted too, and just go up and down, okay? You pick one of those, in and out, or right leg planted, coming down. Abducted, lunge with that TRX, Had my right foot in, okay? A little bit harder with the TRX, obviously you have to balance, don't be too close to your anchor because you need that room to push towards the anchor. Make sure that butt is really sitting back. Butt pulls back, core is strong. On the next one, come down nice and low. Roll the shoulders down and back, okay? Everybody's low. Turn the palm, face to the wall opposite you and high row, or pull low row, your arm to the sky. You're staying low with that left side. Five, four, three, Two, stand it up, push it up to the sky, okay? Come down nice and low. Bring it up for one row, hold it, pulse the left leg. Pulse, five, standing leg, four, three, two, one. Back to singles, but a little bit faster. Push the right leg away in the TRX. Four, three, two, and one. Stand tall. Okay, those in the TRX stay there. Turn, face the wall opposite you, okay? Those who are not in the TRX, back foot is on the ground. We're gonna come to a lunge, okay? So, I'm gonna keep my left leg down. Right leg in the TRX. Right hand has the weight. I'm gonna push the left leg down as the right leg drives back and go into that single arm bicep curl. Now. You don't have a TRX, no problem. Step back, lunge, curl. Left leg is forward, right arm is curling. Right? With that lunge, try and think about that back knee coming nice and low, right? Back knee is nice and low, slow pace. Keep that chest up, right? So don't allow that chest to tip forward. Keep it up. Think about pushing that left foot back. 
All right, breathing, breathing. On that next one, come down nice and low into the lunge. Hold it, shoulders back. Five bicep curls right, five. Four, three, two, one, stand up. Don't take that foot out of the TRX yet, but put your weight down. Okay, if you have the TRX, your foot, right foot is still in it. We're going to burpee. Okay, if you want to burpee in your TRX or out, right, I'll do one in and one out. Down, plank, left foot comes in, up. And then same as the TRX, if you don't have one, try and still think about like a single leg action, right? Where you take the left foot, jump it back, the right leg is off, in and up. How much can you do on the left side? Okay, three, two, one, 30 seconds. So burpee, one leg in. Or if you don't have a TRX, not comfortable with that, still think about the left leg as the shining star as you drive it forward, drive it back, the right leg, is only there for a bit of support, right? 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Stand tall, other side, okay? So it would be your left leg in. Is it like traveling around today? Left leg in, okay? All right, have your weight. Right leg's on the ground, left leg is in. Or, you know the options out of the TRX, left leg can stay long or it comes in and out. Jump the right one out, okay? Left leg is in, right leg, left hand, pass the weight. Three, two, one. Down. Down, I push my left leg in towards the anchor point. I sit my butt back towards the wall. Sometimes I get a little support from the right hand onto the thigh. You can do that if you would like to. Try not to, it does help. <laughs> Shouldn't say that. Okay, so exhale, right? Breathe, breathe, breathe. Left pushes away, exhale comes in. You can drive the knee in if you like that motion. I find it gets a bit complicated, but you can do it. All right, you know out of the TRX, same thing. Keep me nice and low on the next one. Come down low into your right side. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Turn your palm towards the wall. Bring your hand up, elbow up for five, for four, for three, for two. Punch it up to the sky, press through that right side punch. Back down, lower, butt back, core is tight. Wait into that right heel, hold it up for one, and then pulse through that right standing leg. Push it down to the ground, press the heel into the ground like you're trying to leave a footprint in this spot on your deck, in your carpet, four, Three, back to single range faster. Two, one, let's go. A little bit quicker than the first round. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Keep your left foot in or keep your left foot back. Turn, balance yourself. You can always have a chair nearby, things like that too if you prefer, okay? so. Left foot's in line with the anchor point, right foot is forward, lunging with the outer foot in the TRX, same deal, bicep curl. Three, two, one. I like to bring the left knee in a little bit. If you find your left foot is hitting your anchor point, just jump it forward. Nice steady balance, find something to stare at. Watch your front right knee is not dancing around. On the next one, keep me nice and low. Curls, five, four, three, two, one. Back to single range, 10 seconds. Down and up, down and up. Single range, keep going, keep going. Don't take your foot out if after this. Five, we're going to burpee. Four, three, two, one. So left foot stays in. Going to burpee in or out of the TRX, all right? Three, two, and one. I'm gonna demo both options. Down, back, and hover, or lower, in, right foot comes up, jump, right? 
out of the TRX, out of the TRX, same thing. Right foot, jumps forward, try and keep it nice and steady. Breathe, put the left down if you need, just do your best. All right, for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, grab a sip of water, a little bit of upper body. It is 44 after, so I don't take too much time. Another five, 10 minutes max. All right, so start with a low row. If you have a TRX, take your straps fully short. If you don't have a TRX, take your weight. I don't know, eight, 10. Got like a high pull row. Legs are down. Shoulders back and down, palms face in, pull up and back down, okay? Don't lose your neck. Everything stays nice and steady. High pull, option with dumbbell. Option with that TRX, low row for now. Low row, I want it nice and low though, okay? So if you are have a door anchor or nice and close, you can come low and start into this position. If you want to come really low, bring it up. All right, so three, two, one. Again, with this low row, it's kind of like a deep, end, deep angle pull up, but either way, even if you're more back up here, I do want you to, again, think about this lat area today, okay? I want you to think about pulling from the lats. So if my shoulders are down and back, it's not about forearms and hands and all of the things. It's about protracting the shoulder blades and Pulling from the lats. Okay, so really getting this area to do the work for you. All right, chat, chat, chat. All right. On the next one, either pull the dumbbells high or pull the elbows back. Okay, roll the shoulders down and back. Everybody come out to halfway or down towards the ground with the dumbbells and pulse up from the scapular retraction or shoulder blades pulling back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Step forward. Y fly and T fly on the TRX. Those without legs or hip width. Little gentle bend in the knees, hips are square. Up and then T. So T is this, this. If your weights are too heavy and you're doing this, Lighten them up, get soup cans, get water bottles, whatever. More about little muscle, we don't need max weight, okay? For the Y fly and T fly, I'm gonna do a split step today, um, just to get a bit more like load in there, split step. It does have, you can see my feet, I'm gonna have one foot in front of the other, okay? You can try it, it does make it easier, so if you're like feeling like you want more gusto, then you can bring your feet together. Okay, but does nice for the starting off with a split step. Doesn't really matter which foot is forward. Three, two, one, retract. Okay, and then slowly lower. The magic is in the eccentric here as you lower, and then you're going to T. Your arms pull out. You need more range, your straps aren't long enough. You can either move yourself in, okay, or you can lower it to lengthen your straps the shape. Open to T. Okay, Y to T. Knuckles to the sky, chest is open, back is squeezed. Resist the urge to round here and take it in the back. Lower, pull. You want to take your feet together? Go for it. But know that'll make it harder. So watch, you have that 10 out of 10 plank. As you come up, it is not. It is, everything is rock solid. And if you can't hold it, you need to go back to the split step. All right? Meet me in Y fly. Three, arms to the sky. Two, one, arms to the sky. We're lowering everybody for four, for three, for two. Go into a T and one. Bring it out. Exhale, one count to T. Hold it, shoulder blades back. Release four, three, two, one more. One more up to Y and one more to T. Up to Y, hold it, shoulders back, 
Move the head side to side. Bring it down. Four, three, two, one. To T. Pull it up. Retract. Pull the shoulder blades towards the ground. Okay, blow it up for four. We're going back 10 seconds, single range reps. Three, two, one, wide. Pull it up. Back to T, pull it out. Really feel that back burning for four. For three, for two, and for one. Okay, same positioning. Low deltoid flat on the TRX. Goes without taking your weight, okay? And you're gonna pull them back towards the wall behind you. So if I have my either five pound, pull them back. So it's like a tricep kickback, but keep your arms long. You can bend them a little bit to prep, but you're gonna pull back, okay? So, low deltoid flat on the TRX. Again, I'm gonna do that split step, okay? And then I'm gonna pull my hands to the side to try and pull up toward the anchor point. So arms come out, palms face in. Pull your hands down, palms up. Try and retract back, okay? So, pull back, all right? So you're trying to really drive your hands in an inverted V. The TRX should look like an inverted V. Pull back, 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 okay? Can't get enough range. Move closer, lower. Really hold in that top position, all right? Five, four, low deltoid flat. In three, in two, and in one. Okay, shake it out. We're gonna finish it with a little bit of tricep work, okay? Those who have a TRX, kneeling, tricep extension, we're almost done, three more minutes. Those who don't, have your mat down, kneeling, overhead, tricep extension, okay? So. So, kneeling, extension. So with the TRX, you're facing away. Your straps are fully long, okay? And you're gonna go into that one. If I don't have a TRX, kneeling, force engage, arms up, holding the weight, lower back. Remember, it's not this, okay? That's shoulder. If I want tricep, it's gotta be elbows are staring at me. They are coming past my ears. And remember, again, it's not this, okay? Enough on that. Tricep extension with the TRX. Arms are long, glutes are squeezed. Core is engaged for both options. Three, two, one. Slowly come down, back to the hands, to the forehead. You know you can press your hard handles together for increased um, stability, right? I want, I've been doing this a while. I want to challenge myself today. I don't know if that's me, but if it is, then I'm going to separate. I want you to really know this is as much core as it is tricep. Again, that same cue for the one with the dumbbells is the same here. You really have to keep the elbows narrow. It's almost kind of turning the elbows in towards each other, a shade, to keep everything in alignment, like two train tracks, okay? It's not, again, like they're not flying up wide. On the next one, you're gonna take your arms all the way down in the dumbbell and all the way down here and then halfway. So everybody meet halfway in the TRX or with that dumbbell and little pulse. If you have a dumbbell, you're pulsing it to the sky. If you have a TRX, you're pushing it away. All right, you have eight, seven. You're going back to single rain for 10 seconds with increased tempo in five, four. Squeeze the core, breathe, three, Two, one, let's go, push it away. Keep that core control. And you know you're doing without the TRX, pressing into the sky, elbows are narrow for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, last few minutes here, the last minute. I want you to come down into a plank position onto your mat so you don't need your TRX. Hello. All right, you're gonna go into chest taps. Maybe a little bit crazy that angle, but anyway, we're doing this. Okay, chest taps. Three, my feet, I like them wide. Two and one. Really focus on those hips are tethered down to the ground. Okay, number one area to work on here. You're not rocking. Take your feet wider. 
they are. All right? Shh. Shh. Cha-cha. 10 seconds, and then meet me into a plank. In five, four, three, two, one. Plank. Take your feet together. Make your hands fairly narrow. Hand release, tricep push-up, okay? We're gonna lower to the ground, elbows start melting back towards the wall behind you. Back, 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 back. Lower, you're on the ground. All right, squeeze your glutes. Toes are under, you're pushing up, back that high plank. Three, two, one, okay? So I'll try and turn angles here. Lowering down, three, okay? Elbows are retracting back towards my side. 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10, plank. Three, two, one. Toes curl under, breathe in, exhale, all the way up, okay? Three more, finish class. Lower down, elbows retracting back, 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 back. Go as slow as you can. And then come to the ground, like a ninja, super soft to the ground. Don't flop, three, two, one, okay? Lowering down. I wanna talk about two, as you lower down, five, four, three, two, one. Hold on the ground for a second. Toes come under. That 10 out of 10 of plank has to be there to keep you from going up like this, all right? It's got to be nice and together. Two more rock solid planks, okay? Three, two, one. Whoosh. Exhale. Breathe out like you mean it. Lower down. Second last one. Lower, 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 lower. To the ground. Oh, hallelujah. All right. Last one. Three. Toes under, squeeze the glutes. Two, one. You're gonna lower for 10 counts. Zip. Lower. Close your eyes. Lower. Slow. 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 I'm going for it. Yeah. Oh, I'm on the ground. Okay. Once you're on the ground, push back into a child's pose. Okay, breathe, breathe, breathe. All right, take your left hand, thread it under, left temple onto the ground. Push your hips back. I like to separate my knees uh, wide, okay? Three, two, one, other side. Three, two, one, to all fours, cat, cat, cow, okay. So homework for today is to find a door and do that nice chest opening stretch. If this is the doorway, I'm pushing my chest through it. If you have a TRX, you can also face away and expand. I want one minute of trying to expand your chest either on a door. You don't have to hold it for a minute, but just, Bye, Brooke. But just um, thinking about that expansion. Okay, just a few cat cows here. We're almost done. One minute. What time is it? Yeah, an hour. All right, five, four, three, two. Find a neutral spine. Tuck your toes under. I'm gonna just jump or step it into a triangle or inverted forward fold. Kind of back where we started. My legs are wide. Drop your head. Walk your hands through. Lengthening the hamstrings and stretching out the hamstrings. Really important for lower back knee pain, low back pain. Uh, all those those hamstrings are big muscles inserting in the knee, inserting so you in the hip. You got to get them stretched out. For five, four, three, two. One, walk your hands in. Gently bend your knees, okay? And then we're gonna come up to a standing position. And you guys are done. I won't move the screen around anymore today. A TRX, tricky to get all the angles, but <laughs> thank you guys so much for joining me this morning for TRX slash dumbbells. Thanks. Accommodating for the yeah. one non-TRX person. I feel like it's a jerk.
There's Dun one. This is so hard. What is? Non-TRX is hard, like when you're just using dumbbells. Yeah, it no, is hard. a lot harder. I feel bad that you had to do all that modifying and I was the only person not no. doing the TRX. You were not the only person. You were not the only person. There oh, was. Yeah. There was. And like, yeah, there's a lot of people. It's about half, Brooke. It's like half the people oh. have the TRX, so don't worry about it. All right, cool. Um, it's, yeah, it's about half. So, I mean, not everybody wants to buy a TRX for home, but they, the dumbbells are really hard because with the TRX, you can kind of play with your angles, right? And you can't really do that with the the dumbbells so they're they're both great and different you just have to really the dumbbell is almost you know, like that form you got to keep it so straight otherwise things kind of get quasi um but yeah so thank you so much you guys i really appreciate you spending thank that you. With you. thank you Celia. bye okay, everybody bye bye ladies